So today's tutorial is going to be on the mushroom tie-dye. I'm going to show you my way. There's plenty of different ways you could tie it up. Um, all you need is your shirt. Make sure it's 100% cotton and pre-soaked in soda ash. I like to tie mine up slightly damp, so just spin it out. Make sure it's not sopping wet. Um, then all you need is your scissors, your washable marker. Make sure it's washable. I use kite string. You could use rubber bands. That's just for the background. And then artificial sinew. So, before I get started, I have a finished one here. Just to show you guys what we're gonna be making. So, you can see in the mushroom, there's three main parts. You have the top, this middle piece, and then the stem. Um, so that's what we're gonna tie up. We're gonna tie up three different sections, and then you can do whatever you want in the background. So, remember that. It'll help you kind of visualize what I'm doing here. So you want to get your shirt. And you want to find the middle of the collar and the middle of the bottom. So I just kind of do a rough mark here on both sides. Now we need to do this because we're only putting the mushroom on the front side of the shirt. So just the top layer of fabric is what we're gonna be working on. So to do that, you wanna grab your marks on the top row and the bottom. Again, make sure you're only grabbing the top layer. And then you wanna lift up, shake it out, and rest it down. Now we're going to take our washable marker and we're going to draw out the shape of the mushroom in those three sections I was telling you about. But remember, the shirt is folded in half, so we're only going to draw half of the mushroom. I like to start just a few inches from the collar, um, but remember, you can do whatever you want. You can make your mushroom shape different than mine. This is just how I like to do mine. So here's the first part, the top section. Now I'm going in with that little middle piece that we're gonna tie up. And lastly, I'm gonna draw out the stem. The stem, I do not connect to the other parts. A good rule of thumb when you're tying up more complex tie-dye designs is you wanna start from the innermost section, which in this case is that middle piece. So we're gonna start there when we fold and we're gonna do something called pleating. So I'm grabbing the line and I'm just gonna do little accordion folds, like scooch up the fabric. So you wanna keep folding up that line until you reach the corner. Um, we're working on the bottom line first here. The key with doing shapes like this is you wanna make your line as straight as possible. So even if you're folding along a, cur along a curved line, you want the line that you fold up like this to be straight. So now here's kind of the tricky part. This side, see how we have two lines, but we want one line so that we can tie it up. So we're gonna connect them. So you just wanna make this side as neat as you can into a straight line. It's not going to be perfect. Okay. So bear with me, cause this is a little hard to I'm gonna grab from both sides and I'm gonna twist it back like that. So like I said, it's not gonna be perfect, but now we kind of have one line that we can tie off. So I'm gonna go in with the artificial sinew, make a slip knot and just pull this back as straight as possible. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but you still get the effect. I'm going to tie my slip knot around it. Wrap it around a few times and then pull as tight as possible. Like that. 
and then just cut that strip. Editing that last clip, I realized you couldn't really see what I was doing. So let me know if you guys have any questions. That part is kind of the only really hard part. But here's that little nub of the middle part that we tied up. Now we're going to do the top and bottom. And don't worry, they're much easier. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to do the same thing, pleating along the line with the top part. This one's a lot easier because there's no sharp corners. I'm speeding through this part, but just remember when you're pleating, just trying to make that line straight, make the pleats the same height and the same thickness. Alright guys, so now it's time to tie up that front part. If you remember when I showed you the finished shirt in the beginning, the little middle part is inside and attached to the top. So, when we put our string, we're going to put it behind the nub, not in front, so that it's included in the top part, if that makes sense. So make a slip knot with your sinew, and put the string so that the little nub is included inside of the top section. Otherwise, it'll just be floating there and not connected and look weird. So just wrap it around a few times and pull tight. Okay, we made it to the final section, the stem of the mushroom. So same exact thing. We're just going to start from the bottom and pleat all the way up to the top. The only hard thing about this is getting to the top. It's kind of crowded with the other ties up there. But just get it as close as you can. Like I said, I do not connect mine. So you can make it further away if that's easier for you. So here are the three sections. We tied up the top, the middle, and the stem. You can do whatever you want for the background. I'm gonna scrunch it. If you wanna see how I do my scrunches, I just posted a video before this of like an in-depth tutorial on the scrunch. So I'm just gonna speed through that part. Um, and I'll meet you at the end and I'll explain how to dye it up. So here's what it looks like when it's all tied up. As for dyeing it, you could do any colors you want. I showed you mine, I do my mushroom brown and then typically a rainbow background. If you wanted to do that, just remember, this is the top, this is that middle part, and this is the stem. So you could do them all the same color. You could do one different, you could do them all different. It doesn't really matter. And then this is just your background. So yeah. I will show you guys a picture at the end of what mine ends up looking like. This is 48 hours later. You want to let it sit at least 24, but 48 is a good time if you want it to be super extra bright. Um, I'm just washing it out in my sink, untying the ties. Here's the mushroom part. You can see those three sections we tied up, and here it is still wet, and the next clip will be the finished product. <laughs> 